just when you think their supremacy may be threatened, think again, once more in a final. In fact, for the 19th time, it is Australia and New Zealand who will play for a cup title. New Zealand leads the head-to-heads, but it has been all Australia in the past season. And Tiana Penatani alongside me, Ricky Swanell, the Aussie Penatani alongside me, Ricky Swanell, the Aussies have got consistency. They are fit, they are fast, and they are lethal. The Dubai Sevens final, New Zealand against Australia for the 19th time in an HSBC Seven Series Cup final. Off the boot of Tyler Nathan Wong, we are underway. It'll be Shani Williams who'll soar to bring this down. And a couple of the veterans, we talk so much about the young stars, but the veterans come together early, Williams and Brazier. Here's a nice start for Australia, just busting straight down the middle of the field. Dragged down bite the skin of her teeth with Soraya Pucky in the end, but it's quick ball for Lefout Fuckle Salia. Here's Ashby, the apprentice, as Tiana mentioned, Williams. Australia surge early on. Step from Ashby, good shot tackle from Pauli Lane, and at least offside sitting there, but it's a penalty team. offside for Felix Hotham. Couldn't resist. Well, an exciting passage of play straight away. Sarai Pucky with a nice break midfield, but quick tap, they go Australia. And go Shani Williams crashing over. The perfect start for Australia in the final. And it comes from the quick tempo that they play with, Ricky. They love to play quick. They know they've got the fitness and the skill to back it as well. So the quick tap there off the back of some awesome work from the likes of Sarai Pucky initially to break up the midfield, get them good field position, and the reaction time from the all-experienced former skipper, Shani Williams. How good. Instead, it's the Soraya Paki. She got away from and then got away from the rest of them. Maddie Levi standing across the field. Blight has a little look. Is she going to back herself in? It's a heck of a chase from Levi, but a wonderful effort again from Michaela Blight to go coast to coast. Wow, I'm speechless. It's a game of cat and mouse early on in this cup final, Ricky. But we spoke about it pre-game, the match up there on the edge is Michaela Blyde v Faith Nathan. And Michaela Blyde, all the experience, too strong up top. And look at how well balanced she is. She's got low centre of gravity, just stays on her feet, fends off Sarai Pucky and Faith Nathan. What about the chase from the opposite side of the field? Maddie Levi, I'd love to see the GPS data on that. Keslick does tap for Maddie Ashby, looking to open up a hole. Williams had made the run, it's beautifully manipulated by Australia. And now here's Faith Nathan. Every team's got to have a little faith. And when you've got Nathan Every in your system. side, you're likely going to score again. Well, they've got faith all right. They've come out the blocks firing in this cup final in the desert. And I just spoke about it, Charlotte. And I just spoke about it, Charlotte Kaslik, looking for someone to bite in the defensive line, and that's exactly what she got. And it opened up that space, but the link-up, as we said, master and apprentice, Maddie Ashby, Charlotte Kaslik, so silky. Alicia Lafalfako Silea, the skill from her as well. She's been excellent in terms of her try assist this weekend and Faith Nathan, silky finisher. Try assist this weekend and Faith Nathan, silky finisher. All class from Australia. Georgia Miller, 18, playing in her first cup final and taking them on herself. Nathan Wong, oh, the footwork this time from Blythe. She absolutely did, Maddie Levi. Blythe gets a second. We go tit for tat in the final. When we speak about big moment players, and Michaela Blight is absolutely one of them, just getting the job done herself, coming up against two world-class athletes in Faith Nathan and Maddie Levi. She'll go, I'll go one better on both of you Good. and just showcase what class she is. Wong, Nathan Wong can't roll out of there, got in an awkward position. Hines goes and goes quickly. Oh, there was a big get there for Ashby. It's still there as Miller lost her foot and wide as Levi. She's going to stroll in to strike straight after the break. And this is how dangerous they are with the ball in hand, Australia. You've got Alicia lafalfako Silia who takes on the line, draws in a few defenders because of how much power she has. And you've got the likes of Maddie Ashby, the playmaker, who's just so deceptive and so light on her feet. Creates that space, creates something out of nothing, and then slings it out to the left edge, puts it on a platter for Maddie Ashby. All class, Australia. Keslick and Ashby just pulling the strings in the middle, the two of them coming together and again. Look at the offloads, ball just flying everywhere at pace from Australia and they stick as well and now space here for Kaslik, she'll have the pace on Williams. Is she going to have it on Kaka? The chase from Sheree Kaka That's is good. Kaslik can go offload to Hayes. Hayes scores under the post. Australia stretch away.
A silky passage of play there from the Aussies and how good the co-captains linking up. So well executed, but it's the composure from Australia with ball in hand. So far, 100% success rate with possession. And just look at the way they keep the ball alive. That takes so much skill, especially at the pace of the game they're playing. They're both playing high tempo, so throwing the ball around like that sometimes can come away with some errors, but Kaslik, so much experience and all the composure in the world there. She comes to the fore on the biggest of stages, this Charlotte Kaslik. Just saw that space. It was a good chase from Kaka, but couldn't quite hold it. Time almost up in Australia. They are not missing. We talk about their attack, their defence, absolutely mm. superb. As per usual, the Hooter goes. New Zealand have the ball, but Australia are going to have the title, even though Michaela Blyde is going to go in for a hat-trick in the final. It's too little too late this time. And they will celebrate again. Another richly deserved trophy in the cabin of the green and gold. These young guns with pace and power and passion. And then expertly led by their senior woman who always step up when it comes to the big show. And it is Australia who are champions in Dubai once more. They picked up where they left off last season to take it 26-19 over New Zealand.